that you can't fall out We was on that block, we was just rolling dice What's good, Sage Blazer? And this is my Seahawks mock drive of this year. So with the first round pick five, I got us picking Jalen Calder. He's my favorite player in the draft. I, anything he done this year, I think he could make an impact to us. We need defense heavy. So pretty much every uh pick this year, I got us picking defense. There's a few offense picks, but most of them is defense. And he's the first player that we're going to get. And with the 20th pick, I got picking wide receiver Jordan Addison. There's not that much really good receivers. So I wanted to pick defense with this draft. But Northern Smith is not. I don't think he'll be available. Uh, and there's a few other defense players I like that probably won't be available. So I got to go uh, Jordan Addison. And I think he's a good receiver, second best in the draft. I will, I could have run Jackson Smith and Jigba, but I think he'll get drafted before. So I got us picking Jordan Addison. And then the second round with the 37th pick, I got us picking Hendon Hooker, quarterback out of Tennessee. I just, I feel like we need a quarterback, even though he's like the oldest though, he's 25 battered injuries, but I still think we should, we could take that risk, either that or just wait to like later in the draft and get another quarterback, but I feel like he will be the best available right here, and I think he could do Uber, he could sit behind Gino for like a year or two and then he could start and I think he could make an impact for us and then with the second round I got pick 52 I got skin Keon Wright edge out of Georgia Tech I think we need more help on the front seven we already got Jalen Carter I feel like he could also Help us with us bringing in Draymond Jones and bringing back uh Joe, like us bringing in Draymond Jones, then Jaron Reed. We're bringing back Jaron Reed. I feel like our defense is getting better. Our front seven is getting better with both Jones and Reed coming back. So then also bringing back Bobby right now. I feel like we, like our front seven is looking better and we also buy in Devin Bush so like our defense is getting better our front seven getting better but I feel like if we get not only called it but right that will um, make our D line way better and our front seven will be one of the best in the league I feel like and then with the third round pick 83rd I got us picking Joe Timmon offense line Wisconsin we need a lot of help on offense line we Austin Blythe were tired we cut Gabe Jackson and we got Charles Quads and Abraham Lucas on the uh, as our tackers but we need more help on the interior with losing both Blythe and uh, Jackson we did bring in Evan Brown we still got Damian Lewis and Phil Haynes so I feel like we just need more help on the interior O line, so I feel like we should grab him. And then fourth round, pick one twenty third. I got us picking Jaya Brown, safety, Penn State. We don't know about Jamal Adams. I like him, but it's like every year he gets injured, even and sometimes it's like the first game or one of the first games that he get injured. So. If he could prove he could stay healthy, then, our, then uh, our safeties will be good. Like oh, like we'll be straight. Pretty much. Like we'll have Jamal. We got Quandre. We got we Brian Julie and Love. We did lose Ryan News, so maybe Brian could be a replacement for him and could come in and make an impact. Of, but then round five we got. Like pick one, fifty first, we got Chase Brown running back out of Illinois. 
like we lost Rashad Penny, we lost Travis Homer, so it's just K9 and DJ Dallas, that's all. Like we got we all don't K9 I feel like he'll be, he's definitely a star already. He's this is gonna be a second year, but I feel like Kenneth Walker he could like he'll be running back one and then right now like we only have him and DJ we also lost uh that one other running back that we we lost a few running backs not just Penny and Homer but I feel like we need another running back so Brown I feel that like could be like just a replacement for Penny or something and then with the one fifty fourth pick. I got us picking Riley Moss, cornerback, our, and we already stacked that corner. We got Tariq and Kobe. We got, there was so much corners that we got. We also got MJ. Like, we got a lot of corners that, oh, given that, like, our corners don't really need help, but... Who knows, Mars could be another good corner, so maybe we could bring him in. And now we pick 198th of the 6th round. I got us picking DJ Johnson Edge for my team, Ogin. And, um, as, a, like, I watch all the Ogin games. That's my favorite team. So, like, I seen what he could do. He's a good player. He's a good edge pass rusher. Like, he's just a good player, and I feel like we could bring him in. He could help us. I know we already got Carter for the interior D-line. Then we got White as the edge, but let's just bring in another edge in Johnson. And I feel like our D-line will be stacked. Our front seven will definitely be top 10 in the league. Our whole defense will be top 10 in the league if we do this. And now we're our last pick. In the seventh round, two twenty, two thirty seventh, I got a skin linebacker Drake Thomas from NC State. I feel like our linebackers still need help. We lost Cody Barton, which I'm not really dreaming about. Like Barton, he was okay, and then we did uh, cut some other players. So we, and we're also gonna be losing Jordan Brooks for a few games because of that injury in the late, like in late last season. So we're going to be missing him. So I think we'll get Thomas to uh, just like fill in the spot. And I feel like he could be good. I mean, the Stars always be drafting good players. No matter how early or late it is, we always find a way to just draft stars. Like we did so much time. We did... Uh, like used be like in drafts before this one, so like we, I think we could get him. Then we'll have Bobby, uh, Devin and Drake Thomas. Then once Jordan Brooks come back, we'll have him. So I feel like our defense will be top ten, and our D line will also be top ten. Like it's just will be way better if we do this in the draft and. Hopefully we do, as a Seahawks fan. Hopefully we have, uh, like the best draft class back to back years, so we could finally be like the twenty thirteen twenty fourteen Seahawks again. I'm like that Seahawks team. I was like seven, eight years old watching us win the Super Bowl. And just like that, I'm eighteen now, so it's like been ten years, like. And so I just, now that I'm 18, I just want to see us, like it's been that long, I just want to see us win another Super Bowl. So hopefully we go in that direction for this draft and just help our team a lot. Like we, our offense already good. We could win a Super Bowl with this offense, but we need a defense too. So like our defense killed us last season. That's the reason why we wasn't able to make it for our offense was doing good the whole season. That's our defense was the issue of why we didn't make it for. But hopefully this year we could fix that. We could drive a defense like this and 
especially with the free agent signings. I hope we could have a good draft like this so we could finally win another Super Bowl. Our second in the fr in franchise history. I just, like, I've been a Zed fan since I was a little kid. I hope we could just, like, I just want to see us win another Super Bowl for sure. But anyway, that's the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Gang!